Welcome guys to a glorious morning here in London. It's 10 minutes to 6 a.m. And, and the weather's so good. I decided to make this video here on my kitchen extension rooftop. Today I wanted to make a video that I wanted to do a long time ago but it's taken me a while to be confident enough to make the video. This video is 10 reasons how to sort your Crohn's out. Number one, people can live in denial, but yeah, you kind of know like if you're living healthy or not. What's really important is just starting to listen to yourself. It's like, you know, if you're underslept, if you're stuck in a rut, if you're eating junk, and sometimes it's that denial, you just keep going on expecting things to work out for you. Because disease actually means dis-ease, so just you're not in a good place. And basically that kind of culminates to a lot on the first point, but if you start thinking for yourself, because your meds won't, aren't, aren't like a be end and end all. I've been on all of the medications, and at the end, he, my doctor just told me, mate, good luck, just look after yourself. I'm like, okay, fair enough. Number two, treat the cause, not the symptoms. What do meds, the meds do? Do they just suppress pain? They kind of just turn things off in your body for a specific period until you stop taking the meds it's just a short term kind of reboot like where the hospital hopes that you're going to just it will give you enough time to get back into order but sometimes that's not the case sometimes it, it can with the side effects it can knock you off completely so treat the cause not the symptoms for instance stressors especially of Crohn's linked to your emotions and food like sad american diet sad sad like trying to eliminate the crap that we're made to think is normal Number three, number three, work on your gut bacteria. Your gut microbiome has 100 trillion different types of bacteria with their corresponding genes all in the gut. These genes, as a result of the specific bacteria, can be either switched on or off. And depending on how your genes are switched on or off, your body will react in a certain way, i.e. Crohn's disease or not. Number four, if you're a lazy couch potato, and that, and that goes for skinny guys, medium guys, fat guys, whatever, like, what are you doing to be a best self in the week? That's the question. Because we also got, like, arms and legs for reasons beyond looking cool. Number five, alcohol. Well, yeah, that's a, that's a funny one. Um, number five, alcohol. And, yeah, if you're a risk taker, then you should carry on and to expect and dream that there won't be a better day. Alcohol actually kills bacteria. It's a disinfectant in like hospitals. You put it on your hands to kill the bacteria and it does the same in your gut. And also the alcohol is a really strong irritant to like open wounds. So if you have like wounds in your gut, inflamed pieces of bowel, where like blood is seeping into your body, you're losing blood, you're bleeding into yourself. Then if you put alcohol to that, that's just gonna not be good. My experience it was one week of alcohol and it was about half a year of pain and near surgery and everything just went out of control. Diet, cut the crap, cut the takeaways, cut the delusional I had a bite of a vegetable bar or something. Take a risk like with real food, like real good food, like fresh juice, smoothies, so loads of fruits and vegetables for eating it whole, the soup, Salad. I haven't had so many salads, but I eat vegetables whole, steam them nicely, you know what I mean? Food that will actually like nourish your body and like give it like, the energy, the, what it needs to like actually like get back into sync. Oily, greasy, white sugar laden foods. Like slowly adding fibre, slowly adding water will make you more regular, which will stop from undigested foods like feeding your bad gut bacteria, which will make your Crohn's worse in the long term and will also prevent toxins leaching into you. Number seven, stress. A great quote I always hear is Americans, they live to work as opposed to like, like we should just work to be able to live instead of just be completely working all the time because that's a real that's a real stress in life. That's the main stress in, in life after obviously relationships. To clarify, Crohn's and other autoimmune diseases, so-called like a product of Western lifestyle. Speaking from experience and speaking to loads of people with this, this, this condition, Crohn's can literally flare up overnight with enough of the wrong stress. Just overnight, you get into a negative loop. I mean, I spent I spent about three days, about two months ago in Poland in hospital because of that. Sometimes it's really easy just to talk negative with someone who also likes to talk negative. 
about stuff that really matters to you and then you're playing a real tight rope that you could just slip up. I had periods where I was fairly built and then like exams would come. I study non-stop just for two months or something. On the other side of the exams, I look like I just came out of like a cemetery, you know, like out of a coffin. It was awful. Mates would be like, oh, you're skinny now. I was like, you know what I'm feeling? It's kind of like a burnout almost. Some bullies, some bullies can only take so much stress and work. There's stress and then there's passion, you know, stress, stress, and then there's stress, passion. And with 13 years of Crohn's, this is the conclusion I am realizing. Number eight, lifestyle. None of these one things will individually get you to the right place. As in having diet, sleep, exercise, a different ethos to life, then like together and over a certain period of time. And like the differences will just like, show for themselves. Just start incorporating small differences every day until you just become used to it. I mean, I, I don't know if I could even eat bread, even if someone paid me now. But like, I actually, I'm really looking forward to that smoothie now. And today I'm gonna to go with Chris to like the gym. We're gonna hit some resistance and we're gonna go steam room, sauna, we go for a swim. This is actually like, this is legit. But I've gone for periods where I did just work out as my sole focus or just sleep or just eating really well, but it doesn't quite work. But everything together kind of feeds into the next thing. Like working out gets all endorphins, makes you happy. You're not stressed and then the food gets digested better. The sleep, you can heal everything and it all just works out together. But individually, like it's only a short road. Number nine. Like I've gone through this myself, like with YouTube, but like just stop watching, but make sure you're actually like, implementing what you're doing. Because that was a long time for me. Like I knew all the theory, but like I wasn't doing any of it. Like, so I mean, you might as well just not know anything because it's not put into action, it's just nothing. Number 10, remember pharmaceutical industry is a billion dollar industry where it pays for them and their balance books and their everything that you stay ill. They can only like just make sure you're not gonna die straight away, but that you're gonna live a good life, great, happy life, you know, like the one you really wanna live. Maybe not, maybe they're not gonna really help you get to there. In my example, the most expensive treatment I took was Humira. They were Humira pens every two weeks in my ass. And that basically cost British taxpayers 10K a year for me to be on. Who was profiting on that misfortune? Not us. Thanks for tuning in. This was a video I really wanted to make. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Tell your friend and stay tuned in for more and let's make sure we get what we want every day, forever.